Welcome to the very first episodes of the new series called Spooky House. Uh, Master Gamer here that you you already know. Well, um, I'm guessing y'all wondering how I came up with the whole idea of naming Luigi's Mansion after that. Well, if I used the regular walkthrough named Luigi's Mansion, then it wouldn't have been in a list of a whole bunch of other Luigi's Mansion walkthroughs, and then that wouldn't have been very hard to find specifically mine. Plus, with that, I'm believe I'm the only one that I know of that's actually doing commentary for this video game so I'm very happy you know to do it and everything and I hope you guys enjoy the ride um, as you can see in the first part of this <clears throat> thing you know it shows Luigi walking mm -hmm. through the forest well y'all can probably for those that don't know the game uh, Luigi won a mansion within a contest that he has never entered or ever heard before so, which in cause, he goes there, but then comes to Grista, finds out that the whole place is overrun with ghosts. And that his brother Mario has went missing all of a sudden. So, he teams up with a crazy scientist named Professor E. Gad, and he gives him this ghost-busting machine. Not so similar to the Proton pack of the Ghostbuster, but of a vacuum cleaner called the Pro Proguster 3000, which will be explained later in the video. So he takes that, and what you basically have to do with, for the objective of the game is, in order to save Mario, you're gonna need to capture every ghost in the whole entire mansion and put them back into a painting. Now, my sister just recently told me that a guy in his walkthrough, he <clears throat> got all mostly gold and got a rank A house because at the end of the game, depending on all the uh, of all the coins and other uh, specialties that you get, that depends on what type of house Luigi builds at the end of the game. But I'll get into detail of that further on in the series. But with that, um, I have to try to not get so many tries with catching ghosts. What I mean is. Don't I need to I need to not let them break off the vacuum stream. The more I it seems like if the more I do with a bigger ghost, if I if break off the stream, then that counts as a try and then that affects the uh, ranking of how, what I got for those ghosts. But you guys will see in the, in the later on in this part of this video what I'm talking about uh, when it comes to catching ghosts. Um. I say this was a really good game to start off with Luigi. You know, we are also used to seeing games with Mario in it. Um, this is this came out right before, yeah, it came out right before I believe Super Mario Sunshine. Cause Super Mario Sunshine came out in 02 or 03. It was a good game, you know, to see Luigi on his own, not always playing second second to Mario Shadow. You know, it gave him be making him the ma the main special character. The guy that actually has to save Mario and save the day. Even though they don't have his girlfriend Daisy in it, they still do a good job, you know, of showing Luigi on his own. Uh, but as you can see, you know, Professor was, you know, was dragged around. You see he's getting old for this, so he needs Luigi, like I said before, to help him capture all the ghosts here. But, you know, the weird thing is, how were they able to build a whole entire mansion in one night? and make every room specific to every ghost's needs. That I found very, very interesting <laughs> of how ghosts were able to do that. To make you think can ghosts actually do exist. Can they actually make things like this and actually, you know, trick people into signing up. Heck, if it's that easy, maybe they can make one of us win the lottery. I don't know, but that would be pretty freaking awesome. Um, once again, uh, like I said before in the prologue, it's been a while since I played Luigi Mansion, so if I mess up a couple of times, uh, it's just an old player, mo player mistake, so forgive me for them, you know, but I'm learning as I go. It's all coming back to me. It's just, uh, when I'm playing it, this was no way to adjust the sensitivity. I'm so used to playing Gears of War with a good high sensitivity, and then going back to a 2001 game when sensitivity wasn't really all that important to players and their choice in their movements 
it's like a pretty much of a downgrade so it took me some use to get into the control but I'm getting right back into them how to catch ghosts I'm remembering some of the maneuvers I used to do if I have multiple ghosts on me at once you know so it's all coming back to me uh, but it won't affect my gameplay too much so just stick with me and, and we'll get through this whole ordeal um, I have decided with this series that I'm gonna break it up into like eight or nine minute parts to keep it short and sweet because like I said in the rank uh, video uh, I know now my limit for uh, recording audio is 15 minutes but uh, I'm not gonna really push that so much the highest you ever see in a game in this series for minutes is 10 and that depends if I choose whether or not to you know to go ahead and do the boss battle instead of just stopping at one point and do the boss battle or it depends how long it takes me to beat the boss. But that's the only highest of minutes that you'll ever see out of this whole entire video series. The maximum is 10 minutes. So, uh, that's a, I look at that as a good thing. I'm going to stick to it and not go over that 10 minute mark unless I have to. But really, that's what I'm going to be sticking to is 10 minute marks. Uh, but other than that, the videos will either be 8, 9, or 7 minutes long. But most of the like, it'll be, you know, 8 minutes long. But with that, I look at it as a good achievement. You know, it, it, it shows me set standards. I look at this as a way, you know, to prepare me for Borderlands because I'm seeing what I'm going to have to do with that game. It's going to break it into 89 mini parts. But I haven't figured that out how I'm going to do it. But, you know, I, I'll get to it and I'll know how to do it. So, hey. Uh, also, stay tuned. Uh, I planned on, you know, releasing all the footage of the Spooky House all in one day. I recorded 10. So, keep a lookout on my Twitter feed and all as well as my YouTube. If you're subscribed, please subscribe to me so you can check out the videos, you know. But uh, I'm going to let you go and let the rest of this video play out. And I'll see you in episode two, guys. All right. See you later. Hmm.